Hello viewers, good morning. From last few days, I was uh, getting a request from so many viewers uh, to explain the topic of cardiac cycle. So I am here before you just to explain you the topic of cardiac cycle for 11th class biology. So this cardiac cycle, what is cardiac cycle? Actually, in one heartbeat, the total events which are taking place, those events, sequential events which are taking place in one heartbeat, that is called cardiac cycle, that sequence of events in one heartbeat. So actually, there are two types of uh, processes in heartbeat. One is contraction and another is relaxation. Contraction of heart chambers and relaxation of heart chambers. Contraction is called systole, whereas relaxation is called diastole. The complete cardiac cycle is divisible in four phases. There are four steps. The first step in cardiac cycle is joint diastole. Here, these two atria, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. All the four chambers, they relax together. That's why it is joint diastole. At this time, AV valves, tricuspid, bicuspid valves are closed. Both cellular valves in pulmonary artery as well as in main aorta, these cellular valves are closed. So heart relax as a closed chamber. That's why the right atrium is filled with deoxygenated blood. Anterior vena cava, posterior vena cava, they bring the deoxygenated blood from the body parts and that deoxy blood is filled in right atrium. At the same time, left atrium is receiving oxygenated blood from lungs. So oxygenated blood is filled in left atrium and deoxygenated blood is filled in right atrium. Atria, diastole, ventricle diastole, AV valves close, cellular valves close. Then the auricles, the atria which were relaxing in the previous step, now they start their contraction. That's why this stage is called atrial systole. Whereas ventricle, they continue their relaxation. So ventricles in diastole, auricles, atria, their systole. Because of their systole, the valves, AV valves, tricuspid, bicuspid valves, they open. So from right atrium, deoxy blood filled in right ventricle. From left atrium, oxygenated blood is filled in left ventricle. Actually, before the contraction of uh, systole, because both the auricles, both the atria are filled with blood. So due to the uh, weight of blood, we can say, these valves open and about 70% of blood automatically move from both atria to ventricle and the rest of the blood, 30% blood is pumped into ventricle when the auricles, when the atria, they uh, show their contraction. So the second step is atrial systole. Now this second step, second phase, continue in the third. Here, the atria which were in diastole, systole state, sorry, contraction, they start their relaxation, they start their diastole. In the second phase, the ventricles were showing relaxation, diastole, but now in third, they start their contraction. Because ventricles started their contraction, so pressure increases. Due to that pressure, both these valves, which ones? Tricuspid and bicuspid valves are closed by force. And these semilunar valves 
in pulmonary artery and in main aorta they just open so blood from ventricles cannot go back to auricles to atria why because both the av valves are closed but because these valves are open so deoxygenated blood from right ventricle is pumped into pulmonary artery pulmonary artery carry this blood to lungs for purification at the same time from left ventricle oxygenated blood is pumped into main aorta and this main aorta distributes this oxygenated blood throughout the body now a very important event is taking place in this third phase this is the contraction of ventricle ventricular system because of which av valves are shut these av valves tricuspid bicuspid valves are shut by force it creates a sound in the heart and this heart sound is first heart sound and it is called lub l u b b it is of uh, longer duration and it is louder what is the cause of this sound the cause of this sound is closure of av valves right then this third phase continues in fourth stage and this fourth stage is ventricular diastole just to see how one phase transit in another in third phase both atria were relaxing diastole in fourth phase also they continue their relaxation but the ventricles which were contracting in systole position in third phase now in fourth one they start their relaxation they start their diastole so when they start their diastole a sort of vacuum is created in the ventricles because of that these semilunar valves semilunar valve of pulmonary artery as well as semilunar valves of main aorta they also shut by force and this closure of semilunar valves it also creates a sound and this is second heart sound and this heart sound is dub it is due to the closure of it is due to the closure of semilunar valves because semilunar valves are short are small in size that's why the sound produced because of the closure of uh, semilunar valves it is not much louder and it is of short duration so uh, because of the closure of uh, semilunar valves the blood which was pumped in the arteries it cannot come back the blood which pumped into artery uh, it cannot uh, come back and it is supplied either to lungs or throughout the body and uh, in this way one heartbeat one cardiac cycle is completed and this fourth step ventricular diastole continue in the first stage which is joint diastole it is joint diastole in this way the cardiac cycle is completed thank you very much